my name is Mr. Williams and um, I'm the teacher of Latin at Medina College. Um, just say a few things about what you would be learning if you picked Latin, okay? Um, the course is divided up into three parts. <clears throat> Language, um, a literature extract, so not whole books but little pieces, and then Roman civilization. Okay, language is the most important, that's what most people are doing now in year nine if they're studying Latin. And we use this book, so it's book three of the Cambridge Latin course. We're on book two in year nine at the moment. This one we've never done before, so you get small parts of very famous stories to read through and to talk about, okay? And this bit crosses over with your history a bit, maybe in your history lessons, You've learned about ancient Rome, the emperors, what it was like, uh, everyday life, what Romans did for entertainment, and so on. Okay, so that's a very quick whip through the three parts of the course and show you what the book is like. And all the things you're doing now on the website, like the vocabulary tester and all the help, that'll still be there for this book too. I chose Latin because it's a lot easier than the other uh, languages. You only have to translate it, you don't have to uh, speak it or write it. The thing I enjoy most about Latin is that we do lots of uh, games, we do some history, we do translating, we do a variation of activities so it never gets boring. I chose Latin because I wanted to learn a new language and this was something different. My favourite part about the subject is the magical stories we get to read and translate. Latin will help me in the future, as it will hopefully help me get into a university to pursue my career. Now, some people do wonder why learn Latin, it's a dead language apparently, okay, but it's not. Um, if you take Latin, you could obviously go on to do A-level Latin, a degree in Latin, leads into jobs like archaeology and other jobs of that kind, okay, to do with history as well. Um, it can help you with other languages like uh, French and Spanish and Italian and Romanian, lots of languages, okay? And it's also a part of a lot of jobs, um, medicine, science, uh, if you want to be a vet, a lot of the words and the terms are taken from Latin, they still are.